So we love our Ryobi 40 volt chainsaw, but the chain is definitely dull. And it was a bear to cut these limbs and they weren't even very big. Uh, so Devin took it back with him, sharpened up the chainsaw and uh, should be much better. So that was along the entrance where we were cutting and clearing and making sure that we had 20 feet of space up top and to the side. And then we came over here to where we're calling it the runway where the shipping container was going to be dropped off. So they recommended that you had a straight shot so that the truck could pull straight in and then pull straight out. It just makes it a lot easier on them. So we had to take out some little trees along here and, uh, and clear the space. And again, some of them were, you know, mid-sized and, and pretty tough to cut with our dull chainsaw. So uh, we'll know better next time for sure. But yep, we cleared this out and uh, made a nice little runway. All right, so we spent the day out here. We picked out what we feel like is just an amazing location for where we're gonna build our platforms for our, uh, our bell tents. And then we cleared out the road and the spot where the shipping container is gonna go. It needs to be cleared out 20 feet wide, 20 feet high for it to be delivered and it's early. So I think we're gonna go stop by there, see if we can pick one out, have it delivered. So stay tuned. So I didn't know if I was going to be able to get out there uh, this morning to have this delivered. So Devin got out there early to start moving these cross ties because uh, we wanted to set the shipping container on top of them. And we were just eyeballing the spot where we were putting them. We, we flattened it out and, and cleared it out a bit. Here you can see the, the truck showing up at the property. We were super excited at this point. Um, but we had flattened it out, but we just did it. By, by with our own eyes we didn't know how level it actually was um, so again we knew we were gonna have to come back in here at some point and, and level it out after it was delivered but we we got these ship these cross ties out there uh, to set them down all right so here's the runway we're supposed to have it again 20 feet high 20 feet wide at this little spot we didn't quite have it as high as we needed it to but the the driver was super cool about it and uh it wasn't really going to mess with this truck it was just going to hit the the container and we we wanted to keep as much there as we could to kind of hide it if you will uh back in there but again they, they were cool with it we were prepared to make some more cuts if we had to you can see it wasn't really affecting the truck it was just hitting the the container itself so uh, yeah, watch the rest of the video. They drop it off, set it on the, uh, the cross ties. Not perfect, but good enough. And uh, we're happy with the orientation and how it's sitting, and uh, we're, we're excited about it. So in the future, we plan to store things in here. So we're going to build shelves inside. We want to put an awning off the front to have an area where we can sit and, and get, in, get in the shade. And then we're also going to build an awning off the back where we're going to eventually be able to park our tractor 
and we're also going to uh, harvest rainwater off of off of this thing and we're gonna put in a tank in the back with a pump so that we can spray off our machines and everything prior to storing them in the container so I hope you're enjoying the video what's wrong all right so we got it delivered but it got pushed off our ties back here we really wanted to have them obviously on the corner so that sucks but we knew we were gonna have to mess with it anyways put some pavers down up here but we're excited it's nice Comment below if you see anything we could have done better or have any comments, but we have some fun projects planned for this container. So subscribe to follow along, give us a like, it helps us out and we'll see you in the next video.